Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Leaky Femi coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. Now look, 7 p.m. Central Time daily uploads, bro. You already know the rules. If you're not here on time, oh man, I might have to give you a two piece, bro. So you better be here on time. But I appreciate the support, nonetheless, guys. We got this video is called "Girl Gets Kidnapped on Halloween." I'm pretty sure this is a tomorrow's teachings video, guys. So buckle in. You already know what's coming. It's probably some wild shit, bro. Okay, let me make sure, let me make sure this is a tomorrow's teachers video because I really can't remember if it is or not. Let's see. Girl gets kidnapped on Halloween. Oh no, this is a Generation Hope video. We haven't watched one of these in a while. But I'm doing too much blabbering. I got my Burger King here, so you can see. Let's get the video cooking, man. <laughs> can you please unlock the door? Why would I do that? Then you'd be able to get out. Come here and give me a kiss. Hey, chill. Hey. Ooh, die nice. That's what we need. I think you broke my nose. Nice run. Oh my gosh. Guys, guys, guys. If it's one thing about scary movies, bro, it's two things. One, white people gonna always fall in the movie. Two, black people gonna always die first in the movie. Come on, guys. We gotta we gotta change the script about these 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 horror movies just a little bit. Maybe even reverse it for once. You know, the white person dies first, and then the black person trips. Let's come on, let's switch it up just a tad bit. It's been like that since the beginning of time. Come on, yo. Oh, her speed. Oh, she's too slow. Damn, that nigga got a ninety-five speed. Let me go. That elbow to the face really hurt, little darling. But I'm willing to forgive you if you will calm down and get back into my truck. Don't leave me alone! We can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard oh, way. No. But trust me, you are not going to want to do it the hard oh, way. Oh, no. Now stop struggling. <laughs> I told you, you ain't going anywhere. What do you want from me? This is your own fault, Tara. You should have just got back in my truck like I asked you. Please, you can have anything you want. You can have my phone and all the money in my car. Well, I, I don't really want good. your money. I want your delicious bar. Oh, no. <laughs> God help me, please. God, God. Help me. bro, the acting is crazy. Help me. Help me. Yeah, you watch your mouth. The acting, a one. Yo, see. Are you planning on bringing your entire closet with you? Get out of my room. That's our brother. Jeez, you really need this many clothes? Go camping with your friends? I don't expect you to understand fashion. Yo, what do you mean by that? I think you know what I mean. Bro, got the flannel. By the way. It doesn't look like you're taking anything useful. Stop looking through my stuff. Like what? Like a spare tire? It's not the 1800s, Patrick. I don't need to bring a spare tire when I can call for roadside assistance or something. Okay. How about a map? Do you even know how to read one in case you get lost? I don't need to know how to read a map. That's what phones are for. Duh. Well, got no service. No service. That's what I'm saying. Duh. That's not gonna happen. Listen, Tara, you're driving out to the middle of nowhere on Halloween night by yourself. You really should be prepared for an emergency. Why is she doing- Stop being paranoid, Patrick. I'll totally be fine. Look, you need a map, a jack, a spare tire, some extra gas in case you can't find a gas station. Oh my god. I don't need any of that stuff. I'm only gonna be a few hours away, plus my friends will be there waiting for me. Seriously. Look, I'm just really worried about you. Please, just take the map. I told you, I don't need the map. I can call for help if I need anything. Just take it. Listen, I'll show you how to read it real quick. Also, I can show you how to change a tire. It'll only take a few minutes. Can you get out of my way? I'm Come gonna on, be bro. Late. Just let him do it. Just take it. For me? Fine. Thank you. You're being so ridiculous. You're my little sister. I just want to make sure you're safe. What kind of brother would I be if I didn't watch out for you? Come on. Bring it in. W man. Way, w, w, w brother, man. I'm safe. W brother. That's a nice Jeep. Bro, is it me or Jeeps break down so fast, bro? Like... Hey, Dan, are you already at the campsite? Hey, Tara. Yeah, we just got here. How close are you? I'll be there before it gets dark. Save me a hot dog. Okay. Well, hurry up so we can get this party started. I'm driving as fast as I can. See you soon. They're pulling up by yourself. Away? So easy. Talking about only four hours away, bro. Me, I, bro, me personally, bro, I gotta mentally prepare, bro. Cause look, y'all know I'm moving back to fucking Tuscaloosa, right, bro? 
it's a three and a half hour drive, bro. And I be having to mentally prepare for that shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. She like, this is so easy. Nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. No way. I hate you driving, bro. The map. She threw the map away. Nice. You wanna be so defiant, huh? Your brother trying to help you and you just wanna be, I can do it myself. Come on, okay. come on. Why isn't this stupid thing working? Patrick's gonna have a field day with this one. Oh my god, and I'm gonna be late to the party? Let me see if I can get some signal out here. Come on. Come on, I have to have service somewhere around here. Come on. I think I got a bar. Diane? Diane? Hello, Diane? It's not working. I should have kept that map. Go back and get the map. Whatever, I'm a big girl, I can figure it out. I would have went back and got the map, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, come on, bro. Well, at least went to go check. At least it's still daytime, but... See, this is why my mom say never travel at night, bro. Things get things get wicked at nighttime. Bro. That's when the freaks come out. That's when the demons come out. Where you know, I... wild animals and shit. Nah, bro. Now, was I supposed to make a left on this road or the one... Back there. Patrick was right. Come on. Oh my god! What happened? You go, what? What? I popped a tire? I'm sure I can still drive. How am I already out of gas? Seriously, oh no God. service? Where am I? There has to be a gas station somewhere around here. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. you're cooked. You're cooked. To me? No, what you mean? Why? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If if things happen in your life, maybe you need to change your life up, bro. You feel me? Because fucking lost car. I mean, tire pop. No gas. It, all the three things he told you that you needed all happened in at once, bro. You should you not living life correctly. Should have listened to Patrick. I should have taken the map and the extra tire. I'm so stupid. We know, we know. Searching for yeah, you finna hop out hey, with stop, a weirdo. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. And you got on a tutu or whatever that's called. The angel. Hey there, little miss. Thank you so much for stopping. Looks like you're having some kind of trouble. Anything I can help you with? Yeah, I, I ran out of gas and there's no cell service out here. Do you know where the nearest gas station is? Uh, the nearest gas station is going to be about 20 miles up the road. And you spilt gas, gas. When you encounter a stranger, don't, don't, I'm, I'm going to put y'all on game right here. When you encounter somebody you don't know, don't give them too much information about yourself. All right? She should have just said, oh, do you know where the nearest gas station is? You feel me? That'll have him wondering, oh, she may still have some gas or, you know, he'll have to make some assumptions and actually think before he becomes a weirdo. She's like, my, what's he say? My phone service? I ran out of gas. What's he say? Yeah, I, I ran out of gas and there's no cell service. Yeah, that's too much. Now you now he know that you can't drive nowhere because you're out of gas completely. And then now he know that you have no cell service. Well, that's what you're going to tell him, that you're by yourself, you're driving by yourself. And that you have no weapons? Come on, use your fucking brain. Use your brain. You could have just said, hey, um, do you know where the, the nearest gas station is? You could have said that. Come on, bro. Here. Use your brain. Do you know where the nearest gas station is? Uh, the nearest gas station is going to be about 20 miles up the road. Shoot, 20 miles? That's really far. You out here all by yourself? Yeah, I'm on my way to meet up with some friends. See? See? Uh, this is a dangerous place for a pretty young girl like yourself to be all alone. Do you think I can borrow your phone to call one of them? Maybe they can pick me up. I ain't got no phone. You don't have a cell phone? Nope. Ain't good for you. The government can't control your mind with those things. Oh, he one of those. Oh. Well, don't worry. I can give you a ride. You can? Sure. Hop on in. I'll take you to see your friends. Okay. Stupid, bro. So where are these friends of yours? Uh, they're staying at Starlight Campsite. I'm sorry, I'm a little lost right now. I don't know exactly how to get there. 
I know Starlight Campsite, no problem. Wait, what about my car? It'll be fine here overnight. You can call for a tow in the morning. Okay. Uh, by the way, I really appreciate this. It's no problem at all. You just saved me from a boring night all alone. I like the company. Nah, why this nigga lick licking? So, should we get going? What's the rush? I'd like to get to know a little bit about you first. Oh my god. What's your name? Tara. Tara. That's a really pretty name. I'm Ray. Nice to meet you, Ray. So, Tara, are your friends as sexy as you are? Uh, oh. <laughs> Relax, I'm only teasing you. No, don't say shit like okay. that, bro. Oh, oh my god. hunting knife. I shot me a big deer yesterday, and don't mind the blood right there. I had to use it to finish the poor creature off. He wasn't dead when I shot him, so I had to cut his throat. You cut its throat? Yes, ma'am. I had to. Didn't want him to suffer. The deer I shot yesterday was a buck. That's a male deer. Now, I much prefer a big fat doe. There's just something about the meat of a female. Hey, hey! It's all, it's all juicy as soup. Nah, bro, see? Guys, I'll tell y'all this over and over, bro. Diddy, man. Diddy, Diddy did this, bro. Diddy got people acting like this, bro. He got them acting like this, bro. It's all juicy and sweet. You ever had deer meat before? No. It's mighty tasty. But there's something I like even more than deer meat. It's human meat. What? So you swear. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. I'm only teasing you again. Oh, uh, funny. You know, I don't want to make you drive all the way to the campsite. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Uh, no, really. I'm worried about my car, and I don't want to leave it overnight. I think I'll just stay here and find a gas station in the morning. I told you, the nearest gas station is 30 miles away. I, I thought you said it was 20. Right. 20 miles. Oh man, he's a capper. That's what I meant. Um, Bro, getting aggressive. Can I lock the door, please? I can't let you stay out here all by yourself. <laughs> no, really. I'll be fine. I'll just sleep in my car or something. And... Okay, okay. Fine. It's unlocked. <laughs> really? Can you unlock the door now? How about I stay out here and sleep in your car with you? What? Or better yet, we can sleep in my truck. There's plenty of room for both of us in the back. Oh my. You're joking again, right? No. I'm dead serious this time. You're so pretty. Please don't touch me. Shh. It's okay, little doe. I won't bite you. Can you please unlock the door? Why would I do that? Then you'd be able to get out. Come here and give me a kiss. Hey, man. No. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I think you broke my nose. Nice. Oh yeah, this is a clip that we've seen. Yeah, why is you falling on the ground, bro? Bro, she got a fucking 64 speed, and meanwhile he got a 95. Did you see the chase down? Let me go! That elbow to the face really hurt, little darling. But I'm willing to forgive you if you will calm down and get back into my truck. Don't leave me alone! We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. But trust me, you are not gonna want to do it the hard way. Now stop struggling! I told you, you ain't going anywhere! What do you want from me? This is your own fault, Tara. You should have just got back in my truck like I asked you. Please, you can have anything you want. You can have my phone and all the money in my purse. I don't want your money. I want your delicious body. God, help me, please. God, God. Bro, the acting is crazy. <laughs> there is no God. Hey, watch your mouth. To be continued. Oh, we're going to have to watch the part two, bro. Oh my gosh, you gonna have they left us with the cliffhanger, bro? That's how y'all feeling, Generation Hope? Nah, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff for what I'm gonna do. Catch you in the next video. Bye.